All right, well, not sure if this is gonna work, but I'll give it a go. Somebody wanted to figure out the best way to remove the pour stub from a resin set. So, I have one kicking around here for a MiG-29, and can't probably can't see it very well because my camera's not very good, but there's the pour stub. A lot of people like to use, or so I've heard, use one of these saws. Personally, I don't like using them, just they flex too much. I don't like the control I get with them. Other people use these serrated saws that Exacto makes. These take too long. I like to go big. This is my weapon of choice. Got my Dremel with a cutting cutting wheel. Use a drum sander to help clean it up. And a very coarse sanding stick. This, uh, this will help flatten everything out so it sits flush inside the, uh, the cockpit tub. Which is right here. Ooh, pretty. All right. Safety first. You need protection because resin is bad, very, very bad. So, respirator help keep the schmutz out of your out of your lungs. Safety glasses because you never know what's going to come flying up in your face. Put these things on. Alrighty. Just so you know I got it on. And away we go. Let's see what happens. Like I said, I use my Dremel. I do some cuts along the stub. Try to scrape all the crap off of it and just go with it and hope for the best. Here we go. like that what was that less than a minute maybe I got the majority of the stub stuff off now I've just got a small bit of flat material right there that's left I don't know if you can see that or not but you saw the dust too pretty nasty still got my respirator on all right I'm gonna swap out the disc put in the drum sander and tight. And what's that? 20, 30 seconds later, the majority of 
that flat stuff left over that's gone now you can see there's just a tiny amount left and I'm actually pretty happy with how straight it came out and I run it along the bottom of a coarse sanding stick to help smooth it out sand and check sand and check doesn't look too bad and the stuff back here is going to be hidden so you're not going to be able to really see much of this anyways the important part is that it's flat down there so that it sits flush and flat in the cockpit all nice and straight and that took less than five minutes wow it might actually be build the MiG-29 next. I would kind of like that. Well, let's see if this worked out. If it's good, cool. If not, then I guess I'll have to start over. But thanks for watching.